Parents have a love-hate relationship with pacifiers. If a baby will actually take a pacifier, then it can be helpful, especially when soothing them in public places and just getting them to wait a little bit longer until you're able to feed them or to just help calm them down if nothing else is really helping. But inevitably, you'll find yourself crawling on the floor underneath the crib, trying to find it in the middle of the night when they wake up and they won't go to sleep without it. There are benefits to a child not taking a pacifier. The biggest one being that you never have to wean them from it. And so that makes life a little bit easier as your baby gets older. But you said that you want to try to introduce the pacifier to your baby that hasn't taken it in the past. And there are some things that you can try. For one, keep in mind when you're introducing the pacifier that a baby should be well established on breastfeeding so that it doesn't interfere with that. Once a baby is past that point, then you can try introducing it by just sticking it in their mouth and seeing if they take it and some babies will and some won't. If yours doesn't and you want to continue to encourage it, then wait till at the very end of a nursing session or a bottle feeding when the baby's just a little bit drowsy and kind of doing the non-nutritive sucking and it's time to break the seal and stop the session altogether. At that point, then break the seal if you're nursing or pull the bottle out of the baby's mouth and pop the pacifier into your baby's mouth. And if they start to suck on it and do well, then great. You just may trick them a little bit when they're tired and they'll continue sucking. And if you do this a few times a day with most of the feedings during the day, then after a few days, then they may just take the pacifier and learn to like it. If this isn't working, then under the same circumstances when your baby is drowsing at the very end of a feeding, stick the pacifier into your baby's mouth and then just tug it back slightly. You're gonna use reverse psychology. A little bit and when you tug back slightly the baby will actually start to suck on it a little bit harder and so again if you do this a few times a day then after a few days the baby may take a pacifier but if all else fails and they don't then that's okay and there are other things you can try to soothe your baby with you can try swaddling you can try swaying and you can try sound swaddling is comforting to babies because they're used to being swaddled in the womb and they like sounds because they're also used to hearing the sound of a mother's heartbeat and the blood swishing through her body and digestive noises when they're inside of you. And so sounds like white noise are very comforting to babies. They also like swaying motion. So that's why instinctively when we hold a baby, we all just naturally start rocking them. So you can try these things if your baby is a little bit fussy and they're not taking a pacifier. If you have more questions or concerns about it, talk with your pediatrician and they can give you tailored information and advice. And if you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Intermountain Moms Facebook and Instagram pages and recommend us to your friends and family too. <music>